Hey, what's your name? Uh, my name is Terry Earl from uh, okay. London in the UK. Tonight, he was a better of uh, John Taylor. In which band you played before? Uh, in before, I formed the band Flying Saucers uh, in 1972, uh, along with bass player Pete Pritchard. And we ended up with quite a lot of success through the 70s when there was a big um, rock and roll and rockabilly revival uh, which we were involved in along with ourselves and um, bands like Crazy Cavern, uh, Matchbox and Shaking Stevens. You have good uh, souvenirs with uh, Flying Saucer? Very, very good, yeah. Uh, they, they were great days and uh, it was a discovery of music that we'd never heard before, um, especially with the rockabilly songs. Um, with people like Johnny Burnett, Johnny Carroll, um, a lot, lot, lot of, lot of songs that um, hadn't hadn't been heard before uh, this side of the Atlantic. What was your best gig in your life? Uh, there, there was there was many because um, um, our early trips coming to Europe in about 1976, um, um, coming to play in France, um, Germany, and Holland. Uh, were very special to me. Um, we were also lucky enough uh, in 1977 uh, to tour with Europe back in Chuck Berry. You never went in USA? No, no, we never done the, the USA. We, we, uh, we were basically just done Europe um, because um, at, at that point um, this style of music wasn't popular. Uh, rock and roll in the US at that particular time Still, people like Led Zeppelin and uh, Black Sabbath. So that was rock and roll. But there is a, a rockabilly scene in USA. Viva Las Vegas. Very much now, but there certainly wasn't in the 70s ah, yeah. when we were playing. It was, it was Europe that really started the whole ball rolling. Thank you very much for the interview. Was that okay? Yeah. No. Thank you. Thank you.